Wow. Hi, it's Wolf from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as what? Epic Fantasy, that's right. And this is the YouTube channel with the dragon. That's El Guapo right there. And he is automated. And if you're interested, I have videos on how he's made and how I automated it and stuff like that. I just recently used it for Halloween. Um, and this is a tutorial on how to make Orchrist from the Lord of the Rings. That's right. That is the Goblin Cleaver. Easy project. I give you the template. You can download that. Use it to make the pattern and the shape out of foam board or cardboard. Comes out really nice. Let's take a look. Um, this is part of the trilogy of weapons that uh, uh, we've made here, including Glamdring. If you want to watch that video, you can click on the sword, click on that link, and go to that tutorial if you want. That's Gandalf's sword, Glamdring. And also Sting. Click on that one if you want to go to that tutorial. But this tutorial is all about Goblin Cleaver, Orchrist. And uh, just one more thing. Um, I also have Sting and Steel if you wanted to take a look at that. You can click on that if you want to go to that video. But uh, let's launch into the, um, well, before we launch into it, let me say thank you for watching my video. Thank you if you're a subscriber to my channel. You can hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. I put out two new videos every week. All kinds of funny creative stuff. Let's launch into the introduction, the new introduction, and then we will do how to make Orchrist. Thank you. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach the art of real creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, the first thing you do is you print up the template and cut out the pieces. You can get that template on my website. The link to it is right in the description of this video down below. You look down there, you find the link to the tutorial where you can get the template. Two of the pieces make up the blade section, so tape those two pieces together with, as the template. So you have a full blade there. It's an interesting sword. You know, it's not that complicated. There's a few different pieces to it. So then lay all those pieces out on foam board or cardboard. Foam board if you can get it or if you have it. You can buy foam board for like 50 cents in the dollar store. Dollar in Walmart. There you go. Fits on one half of a piece of foam board, everything. And then cut out all those pieces. Uh, you can also get foam board in Staples, um, drug stores, a lot of different places you actually can get it. Cut out and cut out all those pieces. Looks good. So let's start making it. Um, take one of the handle pieces. See how the handle pieces are a little bit different there? Take one, put glue on it, and then put the center piece on there. That one has like the slot in it for the blade. We're going to insert that later. And then, um, you know, glue it again and put the third piece on. So now right in the middle there is that slot where, this, where the blade is going to eventually go. But there's a couple more pieces we're going to glue on here. See the slot? So trim it. Trim it so it's nice and smooth. Use a knife. Don't cut yourself. And then use a little sandpaper. Clean it up nicely. You want a good look to it because it's metal. So now we're going to actually just um, trim the corners of the handle. So draw on it like this with a pencil on both this side and the other side when you flip it over. And you can see the notches there in the foam board. It comes like that because the template is like that. So draw it like that and then just at an angle, using your X-Acto knife at an angle, just kind of slice it like that. So it rounds out that handle. And you have a lot of leeway with, with this. You can round it out more or you can round it out less. You know, just a nice little notch and do the other side. It adds a little something extra. And then sand it down so it's rounded and smooth. And don't forget to do the, th the same thing for the spur at the bottom of the handle. The spur is like a little... Uh, knob sticking out there. It's almost like an artificial, it's almost like a tank. Guess it could be a tank. You know? Cut it, mark it, notch it, and cut it. Now let's put some ornament on the grip part of the handle, like this crescent shapes. Do them all the way the length of the handle, and then trim those, trim those a little bit with an X Acto knife to cut them out a little bit if you want. You can actually make them little um, cuts. Now tape on the pommel pieces, one on each side, top and bottom, and then tape and then excuse me, glue on the extra guard pieces like this, one on top and one on the bottom. And do the same kind of process with this, where you mark it off like this around the edges, 
of both the guard and the pommel because we want to round out those edges. See, now the pommel. And then you use your knife to cut those too. Angle them around. Looks good. That, that that's, is all optional if you didn't want to put the time in, but it makes a big difference in how it looks. And this one's a, a kind of a large one. And I sand everything down. Fun and easy sword. You have this done in no time. One piece of foam board, a few extra things. Now let's put the assembly together. Put some glue in the slot, a lot of glue, and then get the um, blade in there seated flush. There you go, it's assembled. So if you have Mod Podge, um, put that on the handle and the guard and the pommel. Brush that on, it gives it a good look. A little bit more of a shinier metallic look. Kind of makes it smoother. So let's paint this thing. The handle part, not the pommel of the blade or any of that, is a, a dark brown or a black. And then the rest of it is a silver color. If you don't have silver, use a light gray. It'll be fine. That's the rest of it is the guard, the pommel, the spur, and the blade. Now we're going to do a little bit of dry brushing on the handle. Once that black is dry, see how we take just a little bit of brown and dab most of it off and then lightly brush over it like this. It gives it a good look. That's called dry brushing. Just lightly, so only a little bit of brown actually goes on it. So now we'll do the ornaments, the decals, which are in the kit. You get them in the template. You can just print these out and cut them out and then glue them in place. And somebody left a comment on the last um, sword and um, that I think this is an elvish writing. It's Sindar, Sindarin. And thank you for that. You put those on there. And they actually are continuous, the way you put these stickers on there. You know, it, it starts on the guard, it curves around, and then the letters continue on the blade. And you put that on there right like that. Really just one more step to do, and it's pretty op it is optional, but that's it. You have your sword. Um, <clears throat> thanks for watching about this video. If you make this sword, please um, send me a picture. I'd put it on my website. That If you have a gloss medium gel, then you can go over the sword with that. It gives it a nice little bit of a shiny look. <clears throat> and it fills it out a little bit. Um, lots of videos. I'm over 500 now. I'm somewhere around 560 videos. The sword is done. That is Orcrest. Nice job. Uh, and here on my YouTube channel, I get all kinds of creative subjects, all kinds of great ideas on how to make stuff. And I appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. I put out two new videos every week. You never know what you're going to get. I don't just do swords. I do real swords, too. Here's some more projects. Game of Thrones, Sting, how about a Hobbit Terrarium, and the Hammer of Thor. Thanks for watching.